I got a call about this. I got a call about this. Um, okay, so when I became an alternate to Central Committee in 2019, one of the very first things I had to do for Anita Nariana was vote for Jordan Brandman's endorsement to Board of Education, which he did not win. He did not win this, but um, I was supposed to vote in favor of this endorsement because they are longtime good friends, right? They're good friends. Um, and being that I was looking for my seat at the table, I did her bidding. Let me make sure I don't get interrupted because I'm getting, like, people are liking some of my other comments and stuff. I did what she asked because I, I she asked me to be her alternate, right? And so I wasn't exactly happy that I needed to do that. I even, like, started getting text messages from other progressives who were part of Central Committee asking me to please not do that. But... I knew that if I didn't do what she asked me to do, she would remove me. And she was constantly holding that over my head, you guys. She was constantly holding that over my head. That she could control me through her power as the Central Committee member. Um, so I did, um, I think I ended up voting in favor of that endorsement because I had to. But... There were some other votes that night that she had not given me advisement on. And so I was able to vote with progressives to actually make the vote, the endorsement process more difficult. Yes, I did. So I actually voted in uh, with uh, the progressives uh, at Central Committee to make the endorsement process more difficult so that he actually would not get endorsed and he did not get the endorsement. So uh, what happened today? All right, well, let me go back uh, a few weeks. An article came out in the, the Voice of OC where Jordan Brandman, who was a city council member in Anaheim, had been t texting some incredibly misogynistic horrible language against uh, a Republican colleague, female colleague on Anaheim City Council. <coughs> Fairly certain that part of that was he dropped the C word against her. Take notice, fellas who like to use the C word. Fairly certain he dropped the C word against her. Um, those text messages were leaked and published to the voice of OC. So, um, last month I attended the resolutions committee and there was a resolution proposed to come out against him because the central committee had very limited means of how they could actually address this problem because he, Jordan Brandman was not an actual member of central committee. And so even if you're a registered Democrat, the party doesn't necessarily have control over you. And I think a lot of progressives don't really understand this point is that just because somebody is a Democrat does not mean the Democratic Party can control what you do or say. This is a, a, a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because it means that we can primary other Democrats and get people like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez in and Cori Bush in and Jamal Bowman. It means that there is some level of autonomy where people can run as a Democrat and they don't have to be beholden to the party standards. The other problem, though, is that when somebody like Jordan Brandon does some Brandman does something stupid, it makes it very it gives us very limited options as to how we can actually like discipline him. So there was going to be an emergency meeting. There was going to be an emergency central committee meeting on August 9th to demand his resignation. <laughs> Because they were trying to figure out, like, what can we do? Because we can't censure him. We can't remove him. He's not actually a part of the Central Committee. We can't do these things. Um, but we can publicly skewer him. We can. <laughs> that we can do. Anyway, um, the meeting has been canceled because he apparently resigned a couple hours ago. Good for you. Kudos. You should resign. 
there there is absolutely no excuse in which you should be speaking to any woman that way i don't care if she agrees with your political leanings or not men take notice stop talking to us this way stop doing this to us this is especially important on the heels of the misogyny resolution because these two resolutions were actually proposed to the resolutions committee on the same night and the reason we couldn't advance the jordan resolution is because it was so targeted and we had never done anything like that before we didn't know if it was actually technically okay with the bylaws especially because he wasn't an actual member of central committee so it made it um, a challenging situation but fortunately he did the right thing and resigned he should have resigned and i'm glad that he did resign and i hope that he really uh does some life reflection at this point i hope he does some like we we can't treat people like that that's that's not okay it's not okay it's not okay so anyway, um, that is the, I've gotten calls all day today. I've had so many political people call me up with various information on things, but that is, um, that's where we land on the Jordan Brandman thing. I'm sure the voice of OC will come out with something. I'm sure Orange County Register will cover this. I bet even LA Times will cover this one, you guys. I'm sure there's going to be some articles coming out. It might even make the fucking news tonight. <laughs> might even make the news tonight. Um, but the emergency meeting, I think, is going to be canceled because now we didn't, we don't have to demand his resignation. He, he did the right thing. He, he resigned. But I also had a former Irvine mayor candidate, Louis uh, Hong, trolling my YouTube channel about a week ago saying that the Democratic Party of Orange County wasn't doing anything and they didn't even bring him up at our central committee meeting which is a complete fabrication he was brought up they had discussed at central committee just a week ago monday like a week and a half ago that uh, a committee a subcommittee had been formed to figure out how to address this and here we are it's been addressed it's addressed so i'm sick and tired of all the spinning nonsense bullshit well they didn't even bring it up yes they brought it up and it's probably in the meeting minutes because I remember it being discussed. And the Anaheim Democratic Club wanted to be a part of that subcommittee. So I'm hoping that they actually probably were a part of that subcommittee. But also, for those of you who just keep trying to elevate your friends, Anita. You're supposed to be representing Democrats. You are supposed to be somebody who represents your community. You live catty corner to me. You're supposed to represent me in this party. It's not about elevating your friends. It's not about cronyism. 